Okay, tropical plant update. We're still gonna be trying to get these on the play, maybe. We'll see. Um, I'm having my friends come over playing basketball again, so it's my distraction for tonight. But I mean, they're doing perfectly fine here, so it's not really a big rush to get them out here. Yeah, this one's starting to continue to grow. Yeah, it's not really a big rush to get them out here. They're doing perfectly fine in that pond. They have so much room to grow. So, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But tonight, I still want to give them the ground sometime soon. Hopefully by tonight. This one's looking really good. This one gets really, really tall. This is completely different than those ones I just showed you. Those ones only get about maybe two, three feet tall. This one can get up to 14, 16 feet tall. Good. This one should be opening up in a couple of years. So, very exciting. But one year, we did have them grow up there. Very, very tall. It's really, really awesome. So, we we'll to wait and see, see how that goes. It's a windy day. I was actually worried about my my um well, lime tree um flowers but they all seem to be doing good we got this whole clump here so going good the wind doesn't seem to affect them at all this is a pretty strong plant compared to last year and a really really good winter we got the whole cluster there growing that one below it and we got many more clusters starting to grow too i don't know how it's gonna hold all of them but it's doing really good lemon tree looking good too this plant's hanging on uh, probably be fertilized again really soon i'm going to do every I do it every week because it's just fertilizer, but it's definitely made a big difference. I can already tell. Like a couple weeks after that, we'll just see how it keeps going. So every couple weeks, I might just do it or every week. We'll have to wait and see. Orange trees looking good here. It's kind of hard to see these plants because it's so windy. Everything's blowing around. A lot of new leaves on here growing. Still no signs of oranges yet or flowers. That's kind of a bummer. But it's a very big, healthy plant, too. It's very happy. You can be happy and healthy. Um, we got the pomegranate looking good here. A lot of flowers looking good. I still think it was the, the weird um, May we had. We had a very warm March, and April was really warm, and May was really cold and rainy. I really believe that this was threw it off, threw all these plants off. They kept going. They were outside, like, all, and by by April, they were outside every day. And then May came along, and they are outside, inside, outside, inside. Some days they weren't, some days they were completely inside. It definitely threw them off. A lot of flowers in here looking really good. I'm gonna go. I usually go around and hand pollinate. Like this one right here, I'll pick off and then pollinate the other ones. So I'll probably do that later today. Got the pomegranate, or not the pomegranate, the palm tree or coconut tree looking good. This leaf's starting to open up. We've got a baby leaf here growing, another one starting to grow. That's a very, very good sign. We've got new leaves growing. And we have the passion fruit over here. Is we got new ones starting to grow up here. Just, we're attempting to try to have it grow up here, grow under the lights and maybe under the roof. We'll wait and see. But we got a lot of stuff growing here. I'm um, definitely enjoying the new dirt, that's for sure. So I would see these ones are still, these branches, even though they look dead, they're still alive. Um, so they might give me again the leaves too. If you guys look back at my pomegranate, it loses a lot of leaves every winter time. It looks like it's dead, but really it's still alive. And those leaves eventually come back. We got the Hawaiian flowers here looking good. New leaves growing. Definitely, definitely looking really good. I can't believe this time last year it was only like that big or so. And then all summer, it just grew completely out of control. It's going to be crazy. It's probably be double that size. Time by the end of summer comes along. Plant on plant looking good here. The new leaves grow in the center. It's looking nice and green, so that's really, really good news. It plus, there's all the room in the world to grow right now. Um, this is right in the ground. Nothing to worry about a pot or anything. Well, we move this one over here. I'm not sure. I don't know if these are diseases, diseases going around because that doesn't, that doesn't look good. And I mean, this is not the only plant, there's tons of plants around here that have the same. People have hibiscus and they look exactly the same. Not too sure what's going on with that. I don't think it's only a sunlight, I think it's something more than that. But oh well, we'll have to wait and see. Fig tree, looking good, a ton of leaves growing. Looking very healthy, I gotta say. A very healthy looking plant, definitely doing good in the shade here. And we got the two tropical flowers here growing too. Like I said, I'm not too sure what the colors are. Um, so we'll have to wait and see you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's update, tropical plant update. I will see you guys again tomorrow, probably around the same time, depending on what's going on. Uh, the videos will probably be around noon -ish Eastern time. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, any questions in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.